Well, I was in the Four Seasons Hotel in San Diego, because, and I don't know how to act in these situations. So I'm getting ready for bed, and there's a knock at the door. And I open the door, this little crack, and there's a hotel employee standing there, and he goes, good evening, sir. Can I turn down your bed? And I, I didn't know what he wanted. I guess you guys know now. But I didn't know, I was thinking, he wants to, and he told me he's gonna come in my room and pull down my covers for me. Like, I can't handle that? I'm like, dude, I read the manual. I'm in the thing. <laughs> Slam. Next night, same guy. He knocks at the door, da da da. And I open the door, he goes, Good evening, sir, can I turn down your bed? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? I am so tired. I've been waiting for an hour and a half for you to get here. Been sleeping on the floor till you got here. Thank you. Oh man, I love it. I love it so much. This is a really cool job if you can ever do it. So um, in my travels, one thing that was great here because parking is okay here. I mean, I got here early and I just parked right down the street, no problem. Now, I'm sometimes in places like Boston, <laughs> LA. Psh. San Francisco is probably the worst place on the planet to find a legal parking spot, right? Yeah. Are you with me on that? Yeah. Well, let's not take it anymore! <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not an activist. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I want to see that on film right there. Um, so um, I'm in San Francisco and I found a legal parking spot. It was like a miracle. There was a, a shaft of light and angels. <laughs> so I pulled my car into that spot and I'm sitting behind the wheel reading the newspaper. I'm just waiting for someone. And this lady pulls alongside me and she is like dressed in a very... Well, first of all, she's driving a Lamber, Mercedes, BM, something, <laughs> Lexa, something that costs more than my house. And she's dressed in this business suit, and she's got her hair all did, and her nails, and she's got pearls, and her, wow, okay? So she wants to know, obviously, can she have that spot? Am I leaving? So first she just taps on the horn, beep, beep, and I ignore her. I'm just reading my newspaper. Then she lays on the horn a little harder. And her horn actually said, I'm better than you. <laughs> uh, I'm ignoring her reading my newspaper. She lays on the horn more. She rolls down the window. Hey, excuse me. Hey, I'm just... I'm ignoring her reading my newspaper. And she's not liking this at all. She's like, hey, I have a very important meeting. I need to get in that building right there. Can you please move that? Whatever you're driving, get out of there. I'm ignoring her reading my newspaper. And then she snapped. She just snapped. Next thing I know, I hear her screaming, Hey, idiot! Are you living? <laughs> so I folded up my paper and I looked over at her. I go, hey, lady, chill out. Yes, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. So she backed her car up and I got out of mine and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Hey everybody, it's me, Mike Guido again, and guess what? Now, by just clicking here, you can watch my entire special for just 99 cents. If you want to watch more clips, you just click here. And if you want to subscribe, click here. So click something. Just do it now. You know you love me. We've established that. Do it. Click. Push something. While I'm here. I want to see you do it. Come on, it means a lot to me. Please.